So back on that Tyke on a Mile. Those of you that are going out doing it, and I've had a few students send some stuff in, which is great. Um, just because you're exposing yourself to people watching, don't give yourselves an excuse to kind of do some techniques and then back to it again. You know, it's, it's an opportunity to practice and rehearse. Well, make sure everything you do is done with some commitment. So take the opportunity to just have a little bit of time thinking about your stance, thinking about your hip position, thinking about your striking position. There's no rush. You're not under the pressure of your instructors dictating to you pace, pace, pace. So just take yourself a little bit of time. And just think, correct, adjust yourself, get it right, and just enjoy being outside. So the other day, I sent out my uh, TKD mile and I had a question come back. I was performing twin arc hand strike here, this way. <coughs> and the question was, why do I do it that way? When they were taught to do it this way. And that's a good question. Now, there are many ways of doing things and it's your interpretation as to how that's done. Yes, we know that the general had a very specific way he wanted the technique to be performed and to keep a uniformed system, that was what, what has been kept. And for the most part, it's amazing how well it's been kept. <clears throat> so, so that's great, we have that. However, let's understand the mechanics of what we're doing. And I say to my students, if you can justify to me what you're doing and the methodology of what you're doing fits your application then great you know we're all different shapes different sizes so I think the question you have to ask yourself if you perform this twin arc hand block this way here what are you blocking against what are you defending against in one of the books there's an image of defending against a, a cushion and uh, the answer to that when we spoke to some of the seniors was it was all we had in the room when we filmed it and it just we wanted an object to demonstrate we're blocking against so that's 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 it if you if you're deflecting an object that's coming towards you or being thrown at you and you're looking at deflecting the object then that's that's a perfectly feasible way of performing it so it's not that I disagree with this, and it's not that I think this is wrong. It's, it's perfectly okay if all you're doing is deflecting something thrown at you. Don't believe this will be a powerful block if you're actually hitting somebody's weight. However, if you believe that you're blocking against a very powerful strike, maybe somebody coming over the top with an elbow strike, or somebody's coming in with a body weight, and you believe you're now checking that way or you're blocking and stopping that attack if you do it that way it's going to be weak because you have no structure in your stance to push against anything that has any real mass behind it deflecting is fine but if something's coming at you with some mass and you use this all you're going to do is just going to push yourself off to the side <clears throat> so when i do this technique I'm executing a side front technique using the twin arc hand with a high reverse forearm and I'm executing that from the center of the chest to the side front, not the front, side front and not 45 degrees, okay? So I'm not coming across 45 degrees, I'm not punching out 45 degrees, the same problem. The stance is just not designed for a 45 degree um, block. So it's a side front technique. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm stopping somebody's attack, somebody's grab, somebody's overhead elbow strike. So it's a powerful technique. So I'm needing the stance to, to stop that. A little test for you is get somebody who's about your size 
have them stand in front of you and push against them in this way as a side front okay then have them stand at 45 degrees and push against them at a 45 degrees and then you tell me which one you'd rather do okay that's 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 probably the easiest way to do it um, unless of course you're deflecting somebody throwing something a bottle or something that's fine you know going to the side a student comes to me and I say why why do you execute that out at 45 degrees I'm deflecting a thrown object to me sir great superb works fine if they if they do this and they say well I'm I'm checking somebody's body weight who's attacking me then I need to address their methodology or their application that's my reply to the question